welcome to the channel. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to the video if you love it, okay? Um, take advantage of your personalized readings down below. They are the first four links. Yeah, that's right, four personalized readings. All you do with those websites is enter your birthday, and you're going to get a video report all about you. Um, it's going to help you with your strengths, your weaknesses, and how to obtain all of the things that you desire, okay? Um, so take advantage of those. They're free. They're complimentary. Don't know how long they'll be there, okay? Um, and if you guys are trying to book a reading, that's leosunpiscesmoon.business.site. You guys, I love you so much. Enjoy your reading. Hi, Taurus. This is your reading. If it doesn't resonate, check your moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter, you guys. Keep in mind, the energies are fluid. So it can go vice versa. Don't get hung up on the signs or genders, okay? You guys, before I started your reading, I'm actually going to say just like maybe 20 minutes before. Um, I actually channeled UB40. I don't know if you guys know who that is. Um, it's a reggae band, okay? Um, but I heard the song, The Way You Do The Things You Do. Um, I don't know if you guys know it. Um, oh my gosh, we got the hermit. Okay, so coming out, here we go. Um, but it goes like, uh, the, the part I heard was, you got a smile so bright, you know, you could have been a candle. I'm holding you so tight, you know, you could have been a handle. The way you saw my love. Okay, I think it's how it goes. <clears throat> Anyways, um, well, you could have been anything that you wanted to, I could tell. The way you do the things you do. All right, good way to do the things to do. I think that's how it goes. Um, yeah, it's UB40. It's old, man. That song's old. Uh, I don't know why that came into my mind, but I immediately heard Venus, and it was between you, Aries, Gemini, and Cancer. And I was like, okay, Venus is, is Taurus, so I'm going to do Taurus then. Anyways, um, there's a lot of Venusian energy coming out for you is what I'm getting, okay? So I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, the Empress pops out, okay? Let's jump in and see what's going on for you guys. Woohoo! Okay, they want me to pull. All right. Coming out of feeling left out in the cold. There's a lot of coming out is what I'm hearing. You could actually be coming out about your sexuality for someone here I'm hearing. I am hearing same sex, you guys. Oh my gosh, Leo is here. Okay, might as well be. Okay, and it's right in the position of, it's right underneath the Wheel of Fortune. So that is very positive. However, it is in the obstacle position. I just feel like there's a struggle. I'm hearing it's a struggle. There was a struggle. <laughs> um, like people falling over. Um, I don't know if you were drunk. Someone was drunk. They've reached a, an epiphany, okay, about you. It could be a Scorpio. That's your opposite, by the way. <clears throat> Most of you know that. You have, um, Virgo is here as well. Capricorn is here. It seems as, you know, there's a lot of Earth here. There's a lot of Earth, okay? Seven of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, the Devil, um, the Hermit, Six of Pentacles, okay? Um... I feel like there's someone coming back, though, after reaching an epiphany. This person could have drunk texted you, drunk called you, I'm hearing. What? You're, this is after, you know, this is after a period. You, this could have been you. This is after a period of feeling left out in the cold, okay? This is actually how you're being perceived, actually. Um, the Five of Pentacles combination with the, um, the Three of Wands is somebody waiting for the other person to come out of feeling left out in the cold, okay? Um... I feel like this was over drinks. There was something shared between you and this person that was very off-putting, okay? Um, there will be victory in this connection. You guys will rekindle something. I am getting transformation. There's a lot of resistance around this, though, especially, you know, the Wheel of Fortune being in the obstacle position as well as the Queen of Wands. This is somebody who goes after they want what they want, typically, okay? This Queen of Wands, she's a, she's a go-getter, Um and she come, when she walks into a room, yeah, this this goes this correlates to the song I just sang to you. When she walks into the room, all heads turn. Okay, all heads turn. Um, <clears throat> but I feel I feel like there's something here about not feeling like you're you are beautiful. Why? There's a, there's something about not feeling beautiful. Okay, I don't know. I'm hearing that, but you are. 
so gorgeous and your your heart is beautiful okay that's the most important part of you um and that is being emphasized here in the obstacle position that it, like somebody needs to know that that's the best part of you i don't know someone needs to know that especially here with the wheel of fortune someone needs to know that they are beautiful inside and out okay whoever you are i don't care if you're a taurus sun moon rising venus jupiter fucking mars mercury neptune fucking uranus i don't give a i don't give a shit <laughs> pluto <laughs> i don't care <laughs> north node south node freaking chiron i don't give a damn you are sexy honey inside and out and you know whether you feel that way or not i know it's hard but um somebody here is feeling like they need that com they need some sort of validation around this beauty but that song is speaking directly to you, Taurus, okay? I'm getting for some of you, this is actually how the other person feels about you. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo or Capricorn, Scorpio, okay? Or this person could have a lot of placements um, fixed. I want to say I want to say fixed specifically, specifically because we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is the fixed signs, okay? Um, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo. And Leo is mirroring that. All right, and then it's the death cards here, which is Scorpio. So you have Scorpio and Leo here twice, and then you have two Earth signs, so Capricorn and um, Virgo. So, but what I am getting for you, um, one of these people, and that they could have it in their rising. If it's not their sun sign, it's their rising, their their moon. Okay, and you guys take it as it resonates. It could be re vice versa, right? Um, I definitely feel they admire you. I, I feel like they want you to come out, okay? I feel like, too, if this is about your sexual orientation, you're going to get a lot of love, okay? Someone's worried about love. Somebody's worried about um, coming out about their sexual orientation. I'm hearing sex. Oh, my God. I just, I'm hearing someone has a problem. I mean, I'm either hearing body dysmorphia or sexual orientation. Somebody has, has issues with accepting their selves. Okay, and I'm trying not to cry, but um, it's getting really hard. Like, my throat is closing up. Wow. <clears throat> could even be, like, LGBTQ. I'm just hearing, like, somebody who could even be, you know, uh, transgender, okay? Who is just not comfortable within themselves. Yeah, you're going to be loved regardless who you are. You're loved. You are loved. No matter what, who doesn't matter like i don't know somebody needs to hear that but you're in love baby okay stop i don't know who needs to hear that i just feel so heartbroken right now like oh my god no honey stop crying okay yes cry if you need to but i just keep hearing like you're so beautiful and you could be anything you want to okay um i don't know that song was like oh my god they want me to sing it again okay i'm not singing it because people hate when i sing oh my god uh, you could have been anything that you wanted to I can tell the way you do the things you do your heart is in the right place as long as your heart is in the right place you could be anything you want okay I just want to say no I'm not talking about terrible things I'm talking about just you can do whatever you want body image whatever your body image your 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 preferences around your body if you want to change your body that's your choice Okay, I don't know who this is for, but oh my god, you got me crying over here, bawling my eyes out because someone literally cannot breathe. They hate themselves. Like, why? Someone hates themselves. Like they really hate themselves. They they cry every day. They just they don't they don't they know even too like they said that I'm hearing this person say, even if I do it, I'm still gonna be me. Oh my god. Like, this person can't accept themselves. I feel like you need to accept yourself more than others. Yeah, there's. it's not about others accepting you. It's that you need to accept you. You are who you are. Even if you feel like you have to change some part of you, you are still you, the beautiful person you are inside with that beautiful heart, the beautiful soul. You know what makes you ugly? You know what makes you not worth accepting? Someone who hurts people, someone who goes out of their way to hurt people, belittle people, bully people, molest people, freaking kill people. That person is not worthy. You're worthy. I don't know who the hell this is, man, but they hate themselves. There's a lot of resistance around transformation, okay, um, when it comes to this. Now, this could not, now for some of you, this is not necessarily about gender orientation or, um, you know, 
preference around your sexual or your sexual preference or whatever. It doesn't. It's not about that. For some of you, it's just mere, it's just merely your spirituality. Someone here is not letting go. Um, this is the dark night of the soul energy is what I'm getting with the death mirroring the um, devil. The energy is so strong, especially with the will of fortune showing up in your reading. Okay, there's this is a transformation that is slow to progress because someone is so unaccepting of where they're going and they're they're uncertain about their path. They're uncertain about what they came here to do and. You have so many guides around you. You're very intuitive, whoever you are. You could be a Leo. I'm hearing somebody here's a Leo. Um, moon. Taurus Sun. Leo Moon. Taurus Sun. Um, whoever you are with uh, that Scorpio North Node. Baby. <laughs> Sag. I'm also hearing Sagittarius North Node. You are gifted. You're going to go through this. And, and you're going to go through this over and over and over. Because somebody here... I feel like this person is going through a cycle. Someone is constantly going through this same over and over the same lesson the same lesson i don't know if it's somebody coming in and out of your life it's another person that reminds you of that person that person comes comes in and reminds you of that person you're going through the same cycle because there's some some message in that that cycle you need to take with you on your journey okay in order to be the best version of yourself and a lot of you guys are ready for that okay but there's a few that are lost and that's why you're here that's why you're here okay and it's okay it's okay to be lost all right you know people think it's crazy that i tell them to go I tell, I tell them to go look at their natal chart it helps you it really does when i found out what i didn't even know <laughs> my aries north node that's my north node aries like you need to know your chart you need to know who you are it actually helps you a lot to get the confidence that you need for for, for some reason it just gives you confidence in yourself knowing who you are Knowing where the planets lined up at the time of your birth and how they affect your personality is a huge breakthrough in just knowing who you are. It's just it's it, it gives you some sort of peace of mind. And I and I'm I'm gonna be honest, like I, I would I probably wouldn't have started my channel if I hadn't if I hadn't dabbled in astrology. Okay. I love astrology. Um also I just want to say because before we go any further, if you are new to the channel and you have not checked your personal readings yet, if you've not gotten your personal readings that are free, they're completely free, you need to go do so now, okay? Because uh, Or after you're done with the video. And if you do, please comment down below. I've had so many people get that free reading and not leave any feedback, and it really would help the channel. So please go um, check that reading out. There's a You're going to get four free readings, so you better leave me a damn comment. <laughs> four free personalized readings all about you and um they're going to help you guys okay they're they're going to give you something and it's very very specific like it asks for your birthday and all that stuff all right and it's a video report you don't have to read it it's pretty cool okay um and then the first four links in the description highly recommend the top two all right i don't want to have to say this at the end of the video i'm going to stop saying it at the end of the video and just kind of cut in in the middle of videos from now on because i feel like people are forgetting to go back and leave a comment now if you already have seen the videos i really appreciate it if you would leave a comment below that really is helpful okay now if you had seen them already um yeah i don't know who this is though like i feel like oh gosh my heart just it i felt my heart chakra open up you know and then close and my throat close at the same time that my heart chakra closed so, like, I feel like this person, whoever it is that, that's just not comfortable within themselves, whether this is about your transformation spiritually or there's some body dysmorphia, um, I just, I'm getting like this, this individual is going through a transformation regardless and it's going to be better, okay? Whoever you are, it's going to be okay. The sun is coming out for you. I hear all these birds chirping and I'm, I actually saw two, you know what? I saw two cardinals yesterday, you guys. Okay, I just, I, I've never seen two cardinals at one time and they flew right by me and both my parents passed in the same year. Yeah, I don't know why, I, just, I felt like sharing that with you guys. I don't know if you care, but yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways, I, I hear birds chirping and you guys laughing and, and, and getting, you know, you going to a point in your life, getting to a place in your life where you're like, man, I can't believe I even went through that. You guys, you know what I'm talking about? Like when you get so far away from what you've been through and you're like, damn, I can't believe I went through that. I made it through that. That's crazy. You guys are so fucking powerful and you need to know that and believe it within yourself, okay? 
Seriously, you need to understand that nobody around you should defy define what you are inside you are beautiful okay you are so beautiful all right let me pull one oracle message for you guys i don't know why i'm so choked up in your reading this is embarrassing <laughs> it's so embarrassing you guys oh my god i don't know if it's my pisces moon or my freaking scorpio pluto but man you know just oh my god it's so overwhelming yes the energy is intense yeah that's an intense combination right Leo in its natural house, Scorpio in its natural house. Like you, I mean, really though, seriously. <laughs> I'm just crying my eyes out. Like, oh, stop crying. All right, you guys. Let's see what we got here. What do you need to release? Yeah. Oh, wanting moon, wanting moon. So maybe you were born during the wanting moon, okay? And if you're not, that's okay. Um, but um, what you need to, what do you need to know? Also, you know what? If you guys don't know when you were born and what moon phase you were born in, um, that astrology report will tell you. Yeah, astrology report. All those um, those free reports I told you about, the free personal readings, they will tell you, and it's and it's auto, it's automatic. It's not like um, it's a it's a um, what you call it? it's animated. It's like um, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. All right, you don't have to read anything. You just enter your birthday and it'll talk to you. It's cool. Um, what do you need to release? Yeah, you guys need to release the, release the burden of feeling like you need someone to appreciate you. You need validation that you, everything you do from here out is okay. You don't need anyone's approval. You don't need their approval. You are a powerful being within yourself. You came here to do one specific thing. It's not about your body. You, it, while we're here, we're... Yes, all the human experiences we're going to go through, having sex and children, all that stuff is great, but you are a spiritual being, at, you know, in the first place. You were a spiritual being before anything else. You came here as a soul. You came here with a soul. Your soul was put into a being, a vessel. <laughs> I call it my skin clothes, <laughs> my meat skin, <laughs> my meat clothes. <laughs> uh it's nothing but a meat jacket, all right? <laughs> That's all it is. And you can change it as much as you want, all right? You don't have to wear the same thing everybody else is wearing. You can wear what you feel, what you see fit, okay? And if you're not happy with that, that body, because you're not happy with it, then you do what you need to do. But I, I just heard you are loved regardless. People love you. Some of it is in your head, man. And yes, there are people. I'm hearing yes, the bullies are there. The bullies are very visible. The bullies are very the bullies are very real. Somebody wants to do it because of bullies. Those bullies don't give a fuck about you. You know, the only thing that matters is the people who love you, man. I was bullied my whole life. Bullied my whole life. They chased me out of school. I dropped out of school and everything. Seriously. I dropped out in the first day of 10th grade, went on campus the first day, walked on, and then walked off. Because I remember what happened last year in 9th grade. I was like, man, they bullied me till the end of the year. I'm, and I have PTSD. Oh, my God. Yes. I If you're bullied, I get it. But I feel like it needs to be your decision. Like, because you want it. Okay? Um, you are loved regardless. Your family loves you no matter what. All right? The people around you. They adore you. They love your spirit. You're so upbeat. You're so spiritual. You're, you could even be going through this transformation too. Like I'm even hearing somebody's been hiding in their house or hiding in their room for weeks, and you know, just kind of like going back and forth with what they're supposed to be doing here. Maybe even feeling like you're losing your mind. But you know what? You're not losing your mind. You're gaining. You're gaining. Okay. You are. You are sort of relearning are sort of unlearning everything you were learned you learned okay in order to become what you already are which is if that makes sense okay um anyways you guys i know this reading was very intense i love you guys it's just it was a lot because this scorpio card and this devil card combination is just it's right in, like and i'm right in front of it it's like pointing at my chest it's like oh my god oh my god that feels like death to me i don't know and it's literally death card you could have actually actually some of you could have actually witnessed a death I'm even hearing a murder um, or there could have been a death in the family and my condolences to you guys. Okay. Um, but I do see a lot of love here. I see a lot of care and nurturing um, coming in for you. As long as you come out, there's a lot of success around coming out, 
come out, tell the truth, be honest. And, and, you know, I'm also getting like, this is after a period of, you know, knowledge going it going within sort of healing. Okay. It's safe to come out. They're saying it's safe to come out right now. Oh, I still want to tell you guys, you know, Jupiter is in Pisces for the next two months, two weeks. Right. So there's a heavy emphasis on the number two, which is so crazy. Back to my parents dying. They died in 2011, which was the last time Jupiter was in Pisces. Isn't that some crazy shit? Not to scare you guys. Not to scare you because I just want to say that because the death card is right here. And, you know, I don't know, maybe somebody died this year for in your family. But um, it's a very, Pisces is ruled by Jupiter. Also, Pisces is the planet. Also, Pisces is a sign also ruled by Neptune, which is the planet, planet of dreams, you know. So that combination, Jupiter and dreams, and it's very powerful. So we need to be careful with our minds. Very, very important that I make that clear to you guys. Um, it's a very powerful. People underestimate Pisces, man. I don't know why you do. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Okay. Um, they're very, you know, they're very intuitive. They're quiet. <laughs> I don't think I've met too many Pisces that were, you know, outgoing or very, very isolated. You know, not isolated, but reserved. But they're a powerhouse, okay? And the energy is very strong. So the thoughts, you need to keep them to either a minimum or always positive. And I know that's very hard because I don't know how many thoughts we go through our mind a day. I don't know. You've got to go Google it. It's like a thousand or something. I don't know. But try to, like, whenever something enters your mind, if it's a negative thought, immediately recognize it and then replace it with something positive in your life, okay? I know that's difficult. It's even difficult for me. Like, I, I have so much trouble with it. But, um... Yeah, it's a very specifically around love though this month and um, for the two months and two weeks for the next two months and two weeks, um, love is going to be very significant. The the romance, love, anything can happen. Um, conception, um, it's birth. I'm getting a lot of birthing energy too because death. You know, it's about rebirth and. Right now, for you guys, if you've been trying to get pregnant, you might just get pregnant during this these next two months and two weeks, okay? Especially because um, Pisces Pisces being in Jupiter, or Jupiter being in Pisces is very um, expansive and it's very explosive, okay? It's a very, because, you know, Pisces encompasses all the signs, so you it's, it's going to benefit every single sign, all right? Um, you just got to be, you know, if you don't want to get pregnant... Just be careful, okay? <laughs> Strap up, homie. All right, I love you guys. Take advantage of your free personal readings. You guys have a wonderful weekend or whenever you see this video. Namaste.